a blessed Monday to us. There is one interesting rephrasing of the last verse of today's gospel reading. The, re the rephrase goes this way. Remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly that there is no splinter in your brother's eye. Ganun Kay kanang splinter nga itong makita sa uban, the splinter that we see in others' eyes actually are, you know, uh, say tawag ana, what do you what do you call that thing that blocks your eye? It's not just the thing itself, but there are also what we call mga peripheries ba? No? Well, anyway, this is a very serious and a very important reminder for all of us. Yes, it is the only judge is God. We cannot deny that. But our Christian responsibility has also something to do with reminding others of the faults or certain things that they are doing. But first, let us see it for ourselves. Usama ni sa mga responsibilidad that we have to also allow others. But there are many different things to do, proper things to do. Do it in the proper manner. Do it in the proper place. Use the proper words. And do not forget to do this to the right person. Ganuman, we see the splinter as it were in the eyes of another person, but we are telling that to another person. problema na to. No? Although it is a difficult thing to confront because it takes time to really, you know, to really make the, 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 the proper, the propriety of it all. But this is a constant reminder that we are responsible for each other. We are concerned for each other's benefit. But the, the context of this gospel reading actually is the word hypocrite that Jesus is using used to be addressed or thrown to the Pharisees and the scribes, but now is applied to the Christian believer, to everyone who has faith in the Lord. But what is this warning all about? It is about judging with arrogance. No? Lahi man ang muhusga ta nga garbusog ayot ta nga murag kita nalay maayo sa tanang kalibutan. And so this is the thing that actually has something to do also with terminologies. Now, as a professor in the seminary, I always make it clear because in the study of scriptures, there are what we call critical remarks or criticisms. And criticisms are actually related to judgment. Now, how do we translate criticism or to criticize in Zebuano? Usually comes to us is paghukum, paghusga. Pero it's so negative because when we criticize, we put the positive and the negative sides together so that we can weigh things. And so thanks to the Academia Bisaya, they have a very beautiful coined word for criticism. It is a coinage of the word hukum aron mahimong angayan. And the word is huknai. Now we are not using it anyway, but it's so technical. But hukman aron mahimong angayan. Not to hukum or to judge to destroy the person, but to bring the best of the one judging and of the one being judged. And this is what it means to be Christian brothers and sisters. And so as we continue with this Eucharistic celebration, never forgetting this responsibility. It is a task that the Lord has entrusted to us so that we will all be the same before him, that we care for each other for the good and for the benefit of everyone in the same sense that he wants good and goodness for all of us, his sons and daughters. Amen.